Another case is a case involving a triangular prism. Why is a triangular prism? It's something that looks like this. The cross section is a triangle. So when light falls on this part, how will it travel the rest of the way? Like in the case of the rectangle block, the first thing you do is that you draw a normal to the surface where the light hits. Now, this is a glass prism. Light was traveling in air before it hits the glass. So you bend towards normal. So you just draw it obviously bent. For low secondary size, you're not expected to calculate the angles. Now, light will travel straight as long as it's in the same medium. So in the glass, you travel straight. Once it hits the separation between glass and air again, you draw the normal. And this time, from glass to air, which is optically less dense, you bend away from the normal. So you draw it like this, bending away from the normal. Note that this angle is bigger than this angle. This angle is smaller than this angle. So given any shapes, any uh, objects, if you want to draw the ray of light before it enters the object, where it's in the object, after it leaves the object, you just need to follow this method. First of all, the normal way hits the separation, then the refracted ray. And when it hits the separation again, the normal again, and then the reflected ray again. I mean the refracted ray. So that uh, you can get the angles right.